Hey, hey, YouTube! This is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a crap load of free items that would probably cost you. 50 to 100 dollars very easily if you went to the general store so the sun is setting in red dead online and i want to show you exactly where we are on the map so that you guys can get these free items so we are currently in strawberry and we are actually at the visitor center so we're in the west elizabeth kind of really close to big valley grizzlies west area a lot of stuff going down in this area it's pretty sweet. I like it. And you guys are going to find a ton, and I mean, and a ton of items inside of this place. So if you guys haven't been over to Strawberry to check out this out, then you need to look at, you need to check it out. So where, where are we talking about Jesus? Okay. Anyway, so right here to the right, when you first walk in, you're going to find yourself a cigar. So right off the bat, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm borrowing your cigar so that's right there off right off the bat we're gonna get a little bit of items so now if we go back into this area here on this shelf you will find assorted biscuits and some crackers which is always very nice to be able to refill your cores right here there's not gonna be anything in this desk at least i've never been able to find anything let's go upstairs and at the top of the stairs there is going to be a chest inside of this chest is some very nice goodies so we're gonna find some fine brandy and some rum in here and that's all that we're gonna find in there so obviously we can have ourselves a good old time drinking later to this evening that should be absolutely fantastic now if we're right to the left inside of this room there's gonna be another chest and we are going to find a uh, horse stimulant a horse reviver some rifle cartridges so the reviver alone and a gun oil I mean that's nine dollars for a, a horse revival and you can get it completely free if you happen to have to use it so you can store a few of these items in your inventory as well we have this nightstand that we can check we're going to get some premium cigarettes which i believe are like 350 a piece i don't think there's anything oh there was something in the second drawer there what are we going to pick up here some potent bitters that's always nice to have and the top one we're going to have some moonshine we're finding so much alcohol and cigarettes man we could definitely start a party in online later if we needed to. So let's go ahead and search this cabinet right here. And we are going to find ourselves another cigar on the top shelf. And I can't remember how much cigars go for, but they, they can't be too cheap. We're going to search this drawer as well. And we're going to go ahead and take open rifle cartridges so we found three more rifle cartridges that's always nice to have and then you can't go inside the bath which is this door we're just gonna run into it and hurt our elbow a little bit or our shoulder if we put a little bit too much emphasis on it inside of this room right here we are going to find another chest that we can go ahead and open and inside this chest we're gonna find potent snake oil which is always good to refill our dead eye if we need to uh, we have a couple drawers over here now unfortunately over here I haven't really found too many things ever in this I actually I don't think I've ever found anything in these two drawers right here these two cupboards to be completely honest if you guys have found anything in these cupboards please let me know I don't think I ever have so well hair pomade but you know what we can't do any styling with our hair anyway at least in the beta version yet so maybe that's coming later so there really is no use for that too bad you couldn't sell some of these items that would be fantastic so also keep in mind that you cannot sell any of the items that you do collect inside of this house they are just for future use we're finding some more cigarettes here as well uh we're gonna find some cocaine gun gum not gun uh we're gonna find what else we're we gonna find in this drawer here i think it was uh yeah a whole uh, health care that's what it was and then we have one more drawer right here or a side table and we don't find anything inside of that so that that is actually a pretty good haul i i actually want to go to a store and kind of add up how much money you guys would save if you purchase that and we do have a general store here in strawberry so let's go ahead and make our way down there and kind of find how much money we would have uh, spent if we would have bought all these items separately so let's go ahead and find out together shall we so after adding up everything looking through this catalog 
we have saved ourselves roughly $41 by going into that uh, welcome center inside of Strawberry. I mean, if you guys want to spend $41 at a crack to get those same exact items. Now, I didn't buy any hair. I didn't check out the price of the, the, the ammunition just because I don't remember exactly how much we got. But, and it's only like 40, 60 cents at a time, so it's not a big deal. So maybe you're saving like, it's definitely like 45, oh god, that guy scared the crap out of me. I thought he was going to like take me out. Um, so yeah, so you can save like 45 bucks at a crack just by going inside of this welcome center here in Strawberry. And all you have to do, if you want to keep looting this to get as much items as that you would like, or as many items as you would like, all you have to do is go down to online and go back into uh, free roam and it's going to load really close to your current location and you can keep redoing this as many times as you would like so this is going to kind of carry on to another video of mine so if you guys find found this video very useful don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and it was greatly appreciated until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're doing it and you guys stay gaming <laughs>